Hi, I'm doing this video to help you um, understand transformations on um, equations. So let's look. Starting with the graph of f of x is equal to eight to the to the eight to the x, write the formula for the function that results from shifting f of x one unit unit really one unit upward. So what will the resulting equation look like? So to understand this, when you shift a function upward, what you're really doing is taking the outputs of the function and you're changing the output because the y coordinates are the output. So if we shift up, we're going up in the y axis in the y coordinates. So here is your function f of x is equal to 8x. And this, I'm going to draw a box around it. This is the function. If we do anything on the outside, like this is the output, 8 to the x is the output. When we simplify it, it will be the output. If I do something on the outside of that, in other words, if I add a 1 over here, this is what it's going to do is it's going to take my output and add 1 to the output. So Remember a function. It has an input. The input comes in here. And then we, in this case, the function is take it to the eight, that, that value, and, and we'll be to that exponent of eight, and then you simplify, right? That's what our function does. And then it has an output. So um, <clears throat> if there's a vertical shift up, which means that we are we're just like taking a function and we're just picking it up. So I can pick it up. And we're just scooting it up like you see I'm doing, okay? Or scooting it down. We're affecting just the outputs. So that means we take it to the eighth power, eight to the X, and then we just add one. We calculate what this value is and then we add to it. Okay, so our function is going to look like 8 to the x plus 1. Okay, then it says shifting f of x 5 units to the left. So now this is called a horizontal shift. So if I have, let's say, just let's just say for and this is not what the function of, of 8 to the x does not look like a parabola like this, but I'm just using an example. Okay, if this is what your original function looks like, and then you shift to the left, then it looks like this. You just move, pick up and move to the left. That's a vertical shift, okay? Keep moving it by going like this. That's a, I'm sorry, horizontal shift. That's a horizontal shift. You're moving to the left. And literally I'm moving to the left, not the right here. Okay. Um, when we, what this is really doing is you're changing your X values, which are, you know, it's a, it's a change on the X axis. So because the change on the X axis, we need to change our X values or our input values need to change. So, um, <clears throat> what we input into the function needs to be changed. So this x, so, and we have to think of it, it's actually opposite. So if it moves to the left, that's kind of in a negative direction. Strangely enough, it's adding. So we take x and we add 5, and that's actually going to shift us 5 in the negative direction on the x-axis. It's backwards, but it makes sense because um, 
um, it, it, it makes sense because if the function was originally at zero, zero um, here, when I put in x plus five, it's actually going to be um, back at zero at when we have negative five plugged in. So, <clears throat> If, if I if I was originally my point was here, and then I I want <clears throat> okay. Let me just say it. If we move in the negative five direction, you know, if we like subtract five to the function, we actually have to the the, the change that needs to be made to the equation is a plus five. Okay, the horizontal shift is. It, um, it's opposite of what you would think. So the equation we want here is x plus five in parentheses, okay? Because the x is what was the input and I changed the input, it's now x plus five, okay? And let's just think about this. If, um, the, the original function, to the eight to the zero would have been a one. So at the, the, the point zero one would have been on your graph. So I think eight, eight X kind of looks like this. And that function would have been, that, that point would have been there. But now when I plug in, where does this, this point now take place? Where has that been moved? Well, <clears throat> Notice if I plug negative five in for x, then I'm going to get back to eight to the zero. So this point has been picked up, but when I plug in negative five, then I get the positive, then I get one. So this, this point, zero, one, has been moved to negative five, one. So um, the function, you pick it up and you move it this way. And now that, that, that it, it looks like over here, okay? <clears throat> you, I, the easiest way to remember it for me as I'm just like, the horizontal shift is always opposite than what it, the, the graph moves in the opposite direction as, as you see in the equation, okay? All right, let's look at the last one. Reflecting f of x about the y-axis, what will that equation look like? And that comes back to it's the, a y-coordinate thing, right? We're changing the y-coordinates, which means we're changing the output, which means should I make it a negative? I mean, okay, reflection is always making it negative. But do I make the input negative? Do I, do I come up here and, and write negative x and plug it into the function so it'd be negative eight to the negative x or should I make the output negative and and because of all we did when we when we do a reflection all we do is make all the outputs negative or all the y coordinates negative so that means that I'm going to find eight to the x I'm going to find what that value is and then I'm going to make it negative how do I do that I write a negative sign right in the very front of eight to the X. So it's negative eight to the X. That makes sense? Because this is my output. And when I, when we do a reflection, this is what a reflection looks like. See, it's just like a, a mirror across the, wait, oh, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking, I've been doing this X axis. I'm totally doing this wrong. Oops. That's what a reflection about the x-axis would look like. Okay, let me focus here on the y-axis. Let's fix it, sorry about that. Good thing I drew the picture. And this is why drawing pictures kind of, and everything just helps solidify everything in our mind. Okay, so if there's a reflection about the y-axis, then, you know, if this is the original picture, then it's like we flipped it. So it'll look like this, okay? Um, <clears throat> so what they did is maybe if originally there's a point here, it was like, 
it was like negative one zero, then they flipped it and now it's positive one zero. So they made the X coordinate um, the opposite sign. The X coordinate is now the opposite sign. So if I wanna make the X coordinate the opposite sign, then I have to change my input. You see what I'm saying? I have to, I have to, the, I have to put a negative X it needs to be plugged into the equation, which would make it be eight to the negative X. And then the output um, would be, so here's our answer here, eight to the negative X. Okay, so long story short, um, for reflecting about the y-axis, then you're going to make the input, the, the input negative. When you're reflecting about the x-axis, you're going to make the output negative. So by just putting a negative in front sign in front of the whole function. And if the function were more than one term, I would have to make all of those things negative, right? Not just the front of it, but all right. Um, please let me know if you guys have any questions and um, have a great day. Bye.